My name is Grace. Make sure you definitely subscribe down below. So I'm so excited for today's video because I am finally filming my car tour. I got my car eight months ago and I'm just now getting around to filming it because I wanted to make sure I like knew everything in the car before I filmed this when I like just when I got it and then I kind of kept forgetting to film it to be honest. So I finally was like okay today I'm gonna film my car tour video. I just like washed it and vacuumed it out the other day so it's pretty clean and looking its best self so if you're new to my channel i purchased a 2022 audi q5 and it's the prestige package but i really wanted to get everything when i was buying this car this is like my dream car so i was literally so excited and this was like a huge purchase for me because i did purchase this car myself so i just want to thank you guys to everyone who supports me and like watches my social media and follows me because without you guys literally we couldn't have got this car so i feel just so lucky i don't know if cars are still like in a huge shortage but when my previous car i had a like 2008 lexus before this it just was kind of like going downhill and not doing its best so i decided it was time to just like get a new car before my other one like completely died so i could still get some value for it so at that time there was honestly like no inventory and so i got so lucky with this being like the exact color i wanted exact interior i wanted like all the like stuff inside the car so i just want to put that out there because i wasn't going to buy just any car if it wasn't exactly what i wanted because it is a lot of money to be spending so i'm just so excited to share this with you guys i'm a very like neat person so i do try and keep my car pretty neat so i do think it's upheld really really well and i've been loving the car so far so let's just get right on into it i'm going to show you guys the interior of it first and then i'll go outside and film like the outside part for you because it is like 91 degrees outside so i want to stay in my car as long as i can before going outside if you guys have any other questions about the car leave them down below i'm going to like do a detailed video of the car but also i'm not going to be going super detailed into like every single little electronic thing because that's just like i'm not like a huge car person so i just want to show you guys kind of like my favorite thing Things about the car and what I love and just like everything like that so I'm gonna start out with the keys just to show you guys them because it is a keyless entry I'm pretty sure most cars are like that nowadays so it is so nice I've gotten like so used to just like not ever needing my keys really besides like bringing them with me so this is my like keychain it's like a little keyless thing and I did get a little cover from Amazon just to protect it and also this car did come with two keys as well which was really nice and then it has unlock lock and then you can do your trunk and then the panic button and this little like fob cover thing is just from amazon i have it linked on my storefront so you can go check it out there but the key underneath honestly looks the exact same it's just more matte you just tap the handle and it'll unlock or lock so i'll show you guys that once i'm outside let's get into the inside of the car so when you enter my car this is just kind of what you see this is the driver's seat so starting out there is a cup holder down here i just keep like a bunch of random stuff extra straws hand sanitizer plastic silverware and then I have like a emergency little like device down here that like has a light and like a window breaker and all that stuff That's just kind of that it's kind of like my junk area to be honest Whatever it does the job and then right over here is where the trunk pop is So you just pull that up and it pops your trunk over here. This is all of the like controls These are the child lock buttons the back windows the front windows and then this is how you do your mirrors so like to adjust your mirrors basically you can like turn it so that would be the left mirror and then if i wanted to like move it out or in or whatever it adjusts that so that's how you do the mirrors the handle very like self-explanatory your lock and unlock and then these are how you can set your seats to be in pacific's position so i have those programmed to like set my seat so if somebody else were to drive my car I can like put it back to the exact settings air conditioning and then down here I keep my lights on auto but this is just all of your like fog lights and all that type of stuff easy and then I actually found this little compartment after I purchased the car I didn't really even realize it was there but I keep all my sunglasses in here so it's kind of this like hidden compartment 
and I don't know if you can see it but it's like a decent size and I have a few just pairs of sunglasses in there so it's kind of like a secret compartment but it's really nice right there is your hood pop this is the wheel I really really like the complete leather my old car had like wood on it so I really just like the leather it's super like sleek I feel like the Audi logo now the thing with me when I was looking into purchasing cars was it had to have CarPlay which this car does have and I'll get into that and then I also just wanted a really good like system because some cars are a little bit outdated and like I said if I was purchasing something I just wanted it to have everything I wanted and I really did love the look of Audis prior nobody in my family has ever owned one like I've never had an Audi I've only ever had one car so I loved like the look from the outside of how they looked but I didn't really know much about like the interior and I didn't know how like tech based it was so I was very excited when I learned a lot of the stuff so the steering wheel is honestly really nice I do a lot of my like stuff from the steering wheel which is something I think is really important when you're driving because you just don't want to be like trying to reach everywhere when you're trying to drive and stay focused on the road so obviously you have the horn right here um, I'm not gonna honk it because I'm at a church thought it would be like empty in this parking lot and a good place to film because it's always empty and there's people here so I'm not gonna use the horn have your call button but it also has Siri so this car Siri is literally so good I feel like so many cars I go into the Siri low-key sucks and you'll say something and she doesn't understand you but I've never had that issue with this car so you just hold it in and then Siri pops up so I can say hey Siri text my mom what do you want to say hi mom how are you your message to mom says hi mom how are you send it I'm just gonna cancel that but and then you just say send and it sends so like that's really cool you can call from it everything cool and like when you have an incoming text message you can tap it on the screen and it'll read it to you and then allow you to reply without touching your phone or texting at all so that's really cool you have your music buttons here this is actually the volume adjuster so um i have the music paused so it's like why are you trying to turn up the volume but then your skip and that type of thing it has a heated steering wheel i live in florida so i really haven't used it much and then over on this side this is another thing that really sold me on the car so you can turn your view of your car to like be really small with the like miles per hour and like the mode and all that stuff or you can have it bigger. I normally keep it in the bigger mode. I have a heads up display, so I don't know if you can see this right here. Only the driver can see this little hologram in the mirror, but I honestly have gotten so used to looking at this when I'm driving. I don't really ever look down here, and so like when I get into other people's cars and I'm like driving their car or something, I'm so like not used to just like glancing down here it's really really nice to just be able to see your speed and it tells you the speed limit and it also tell you if you're speeding it like comes up with a exclamation sign or everything like that there's just a lot of safety features in this car i love so that's that but then you can also swipe through all the settings so i have it in carplay mode right now obviously then it has your maps this was another thing that honestly sold me on the car is it displays if you have your maps like hooked up to to go somewhere it'll show you exactly where you're going on this screen which i just find so cool and obviously it shows it over here as well with carplay and then if you press it again it just brings you to your miles per hour obviously i've just been sitting but i do find that i can get up to 30 to 35 miles per hour on average when i'm driving on the highway which is really really nice and it was honestly a lot better than i was expecting so that's kind of just all of the controls and that type of thing so i normally just keep it on the music things it does have paddle shifters as well I've never used them because I don't know how. Your light stuff is right over here. Here's all your windshield wiper stuff. Another thing about this car that was really cool is it actually also came with rubber mats. So in addition to the rubber mats, it gives you cloth mats as well. So I kind of just have them both like stacked on here. Those can be pricey and obviously like you are paying for a luxury car with Audis, but I just thought that was really cool because I didn't even realize that until I like purchased the car and then the mats were in the trunk and they were like, okay, let's put your mats on. And I was like, oh, nice. So that saves me like $400. And then also over here i forgot to tell you guys but this is your um like mileage stuff coming to the center console area this is what it looks like it is so sleek i just love it i love like the wood detailing and then like the chrome i think that's chrome but i just think it all looks so so good it comes with like a huge screen in this car i don't know if you can tell how big this is i have a iphone 12 pro max and then this is like the screen so it's like a literal giant ipad it does have carplay like i said and you don't have to technically have your phone plugged in to like be able to use the carplay i just normally plug my phone in to charge it when i'm driving so 
it is wireless it shows your music it shows right now i'm just on spotify so i can like access everything in my spotify on here it'll show me like all my text messages and that type of thing i just love that and then if you come over here it has all of your like settings and everything like that your vehicle information and that type of thing so that's kind of this whole setup there's so much in here it has like the radio i literally never use the radio everything is in here and something else that's really cool is your garage door opener is actually right here i'm not gonna press it because i'm not home but when you pull up to your driveway it actually pops up and it like opens your garage for you so you just like tap it and you say you're home pretty much so the garage door up opener normally in cars i feel like is like up here somewhere but on this car it's like digital everything in audis is super like digital based i got this thing for christmas from my dad actually here's the brand i have it on my amazon storefront it's called mirror case and i just have this for my phone super handy to just like hold my phone and it just like sits on your air vent so that's really cool and then right here's all your ac settings seat coolers seat heaters if you comment down here it's all of your like drivers assistance tools driver select it's gonna bring you up to the mode. So I always keep my car in comfort mode. That's what they say is like the most popular and just like kind of the nicest, but there is like off-road and all these different ones, but I'm just gonna keep it in comfort. So that's kind of how you do that is right here. And then over here is all of your other little features. Honestly, to be honest, I haven't used any of these. One of these is like a parking feature. And then this car actually can parallel park itself, which is like so cool. I haven't ever used it, but it does do that and that's just this feature right down here and there's a little like compartment on here i just keep a little bit of makeup i have like a powder and then some lip glosses this is your start stop button there's also this little compartment i just keep a extra garage door opener right here and then i have this little like flashlight that you can like stick if you lose something it's just really thin and easy to use over here you have the volume adjuster and skip buttons which is actually really different i feel like i've never seen it over here i'm so used to it being like over here but it's for i guess your passenger so i never really use it because it is kind of like a further reach i always just use this one and then i'm honestly not really sure what this little thing is but i use it for my sunglasses and it works perfectly so and then this is the prindle or whatever you want to call it and it's also kind of like a different prindle it's not like a stick that you do you just kind of press that button in and it moves it to whatever you want to do so when i go into reverse it shows you your full view of everything so right now it's showing the back of my car and then also like the 360 view which is so helpful like i've gotten so used to this because in my previous car i did have a backup camera but that was it and nothing else so it's just really really nice it beeps at you for literally like everything though if i shift to drive it's it'll show me this is the front view of the car park it's just a button and that's your brake coming down here so this is kind of everything you come down here and you have your cup holders two cup holders they're like average size but something that's really really cool is you have cup coolers and heaters so you can change the settings on this and then this is the center console so so i just keep a bunch of pens on this little like tray thing you can slide it forward and back and then in here is honestly just a bunch of random kind of essentials so i have like sticky notes i have a face mask in case i have a bunch of change in here for if i like have a meter or something i have some lotion this little mini tangle teaser brush isn't this like the cutest little mini thing ever but it just fits perfectly in there um another flashlight i have a key in here extra feminine products just just in case of emergency so it's honestly just really random stuff and then there's also a plug down here that is everything in here it is honestly a bit of a smaller center console i will be honest with that my previous car had a bit bigger of one so it did take me a little bit of shrinking down what i keep in here because my last one just had like a ton of stuff in it now it's just more necessities and basics then for the seats i got these things for the front two seats off amazon again i'll link them on my storefront but it just helps so like stuff doesn't fall in the cracks and they're so nice they're from that shark tank the people that went on shark tanks now coming up here you have your visors they're again pretty basic you have your little mirror so you have your rear view mirror right here on your like roof settings you have these are the lights you just tap them the sunroof so i have a sunroof and a moonroof it's all connected but you can press this little button and it would shut it so that's it shutting but i'm just gonna leave her open because why not and then this one opens the actual sunroof 
And there's also a little net right here, which is really nice for bugs. So that is that. It's way too hot to have that open though right now. And then it has the SOS button and all that stuff. So that's just kind of everything up there. Yeah, that is the whole driver's side. So that's going to be like the bulk of this. I feel like very techie, I would say. So let's go through the rest of the car. So I think the seats honestly are so like sleek and sick. They have this lining around. It goes through all the car, but it's just like this black lining all over through the seat and I think it like honestly adds such a pop to the seats and makes it look so nice so that's just like the seats and then also it has these adjusters so you can like make them go out more and whatever yeah they're just kind of the beige tan color okay here is my glove box again on the passenger side you have the lock features you have the AC the window and then a little side console I just keep wipes and sanitizer down there going to the back seat this is what the back seat looks like like super cute um i did actually take my car on like a little mini road trip three hours south to jupiter with a few of my friends so we used the whole car and that was like the first time i think people really really sat in the back seat but i'm gonna hop in the back and show you guys it okay this is the back seat so this is like the driver's side passenger backseat door i really like that they have these like child sun shields in the car it's like built in i have these backseat like covers they're actually from my previous car so i just decided to put them on this car i figured it didn't hurt here's the moonroof from the back it's really really nice honestly and then there's their own little ac system back it can be con controlled and turned up or turned down or whatever from back here which is really nice they also have seat heaters back here which i just find so cool and then there's a cigarette lighter back here and little usb plugs as well and then this is just the other see again kind of the same thing i got this trash can for my 16th birthday literally so long ago but she's still being used and i still love her i just keep it on the back of the passenger side there is a middle seat as well this is the like what do you call it center console in the back i guess it just has the cup holders so there's two cup holders here but i just normally keep this up so here's the front entrance and view and everything like that i'm gonna pop the trunk so you guys can see the trunk okay so here's the trunk from the back it has like again the automated trunk up here you have the button to press and then again it has the mat right here which is really nice i keep a blanket back here because you never know and then this is my hammock i have an umbrella back here and then this is just some stuff the dealership like gave me so it's a pretty spacious trunk it closes i can't show you guys that but that's it Shut, I'm gonna turn off the car and show you guys the outside now. Your mobile device is still in the vehicle. Oh, thank you. Okay, so here's the side of the car. Um, very cute. She's white. Here's the tires. They look so clean right now, honestly, because like I said, I got it washed. These are just the tires that came with the car. Um, I don't really know much about that type of stuff, so <laughs> yeah. But have the chrome rimming like all around the car here's the handles they're kind of weird they like lift up which takes most people are like oh your handles are so weird when they like first get in my car but i've kind of gotten used to it so i'm gonna lock her and just show you guys the tap automatic close of the mirrors which is so nice so it's shut now and locked but here's the whole thing Honestly, I love the look of the front of the car. The front is like my favorite part of it. When it's nighttime too, like the lights look sick. So yeah, I just think that whole thing is really cool. So yeah, this is just like the whole thing. It shows you like the S line, all that stuff. And then when you like walk up, it unlocks automatically. Okay, you guys, my camera just died. So <laughs> I'm filming the rest on my phone, but this is just the whole side of the car. Your gas is on the passenger side. Back. So I'm finishing the outro on my phone. So sorry if you notice like a difference in quality, but I'm glad I got the majority filmed on my camera. It literally just died though. So I can't do much about that. But yeah, that is pretty much everything in my car. So that's the whole exterior, interior, everything like that. If you're thinking about getting an Audi or the Q5 specifically, I honestly really, really recommend it. I have been loving mine. I also forgot to mention, I really like the pedals in this car. I've driven Jeeps a few times and I just like noticed with those, the pedals are very like rushed. I don't know, like, I don't know how to say it. They're just like, you press it and they're like, go. So I really like these. One thing I knew when I test drove this car was like, I immediately loved how it drove. So 
yeah i really just can't complain about this car if you're thinking about getting it honestly i say go for it it's a really really nice car it has like a lot of amazing features and safety features yeah that is everything for my audi 2022 q5 car tour thank you guys again so so much for just supporting me and watching i really hope this video gave you some insight or you just like enjoyed watching it if you're into cars and if you have any questions leave them down below if i missed anything or if you're wondering about anything but that's going to be it for today's video and i will see you guys in the next one bye guys I got a high